What's up, you money-grubbing capitalists? Today, we are going to talk about this four-unit apartment building and why I think it's going to be on the market for a long time. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. Today, I'm working with a real estate investor just like you guys, right? Anybody out there, you're clicking on videos, trying to figure out how to make some freaking money, man. Get your money right. By the way, you guys want 10% off this swag right here, this swag over here. Uh, use promo code HWTV10. Get a 10% discount. Links in the show notes below, right? Uh, but... On to real estate, though, right? Shirts are cool, but real estate is cooler. And today I'm working with my client, Elvis, out-of-state investor. Uh, Elvis, you sent me this particular property, right? And uh, I normally would uh, want to hop on something like this immediately because I love quads. I believe the quad is the very best investment, guys, because I think financing is the most important aspect of real estate investing. And you cannot get better financing than on a four-unit apartment building. However... Elvis, this is a gnarly deal if you could pick it up at the right price. They, in my opinion, have overpriced it quite a bit. As I talk to you, it's been on the market for 18 days. Right when it popped out, I sent this to another investor uh, as something to monitor. You should also monitor it as well. So the first thing I want you to do is take a look at that footage. 1415 Brookline Road South, you could hit the market three days ago. I don't think it's going to fly, though, because I, I think... I, I think the seller's a fucking idiot, actually. I, I, I think he thinks he's uh, got something a little nicer than he does or he doesn't understand how math works, right? 297000 is his asking price. And don't get me wrong. This is a very nice neighborhood, incredibly nice neighborhood. Neighborhood's awesome. Quads are awesome. And his building is pretty goddamn nice. All that is cool, but, bro, it, it's two ninety seven is still crazy. Now, it looks pretty good, okay? We got four tenants in there. All four are Section 8 tenants. And this is South Euclid. Now, the last video I did for you, Lewis, was Euclid. South Euclid's an even nicer area. And you'll see the rents, like, per the bedroom count, are going to be, like, higher in comparison in South Euclid than they are in Euclid. Hey, lenders. Our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Now, three of these units are one bed, and then one is a two bed. All four of these tenants are Section 8 tenants, right? So we are getting $770 for the one two-bedroom unit, and each of the one-bedroom units are bringing home $672, right? That should net you out a little bit over $10,000 a year after all your fixed and variable expenses. But I cannot justify 297. As nice as South Euclid is, as nice as this property is, as nice as quads are, as great as the financing is, and uh, is infrequent as nice buildings like this that are four units are going to pop up. I still can't have you pay 297. That'd be crazy. The most I could justify you paying, brother, would be two and a quarter. You'd have to put down 56. The bank would lend you 168. That would be a four and a half cap or a three percent cash on cash return, right? But you shouldn't look too much into the cash on cash return here. You should look into the fact that you could only get 10 or 9 of these mortgages, right? So ideally, you want the mortgages to be as big as humanly possible, right? Because you could only get, let's say, 9 if you're taking care of home base first, right? So why have your tenants pay off a $70,000 mortgage when you can get them to pay off a $168,000 mortgage? So that's what I would do. Welcome back, Elvis. So as you can see, bro, it doesn't make sense at their current price of 297 right? And, you know, we're only three weeks in. So if you want to make an offer, cool. If you want to continue to monitor it, cool, right? I, I think the odds of you getting a deal done are going to drastically increase as time goes by because I find it unlikely someone's going to pay 300 And if somebody does pay 300 I don't want that somebody to be you, brother, because that is just too much money. At 225000 uh, the cash on cash return is is projecting out very low, as is the cap rate. But it is a quality investment in a quality neighborhood, so I still think the deal would be worth doing. But you know, 
that's roughly 75k discount right so most people are not going to take a 75k discount this early in the game uh, but we got to let that market work for us let the realization that nobody's forking over almost 300k for this sucker to set in and then we could possibly make a move but as of right now brother uh, you know, I, I don't have a problem submitting an offer for you. I just, I don't see the likelihood of you taking it down for a reasonable price happening in the near future. So it's kind of going to be a wait and see. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.